President Yoon appeared back on a televised address now this time with an apology for causing concern over his attempt to impose martial law. Uh, let's uh, dissect some more with uh, Professor Song Seon this afternoon. Good afternoon, Professor Song. Good afternoon. So let's cut to the chase. Why, uh, why, why do you think the motive is behind the apology this morning? Well, um, many things. I, I think, uh, first off, the apology came pretty late. But um, he, the public outrage uh, about the martial law is very, very significant. And he heard from the United States and, and around the world how uh, concerned they were. And uh, this, uh, this action clearly was misjudged. And uh, I think he should have come out for uh, damage control. Uh, but also significantly, the, the impeachment proceeding is uh, to, be take, uh, to take place uh, very, very shortly today. So I think he was backed into the corner and probably apology and uh, uh, effectively announcing that his political uh, future is, uh, is going to be decided by uh, his party. Uh, that announcement was it just of uh, his apology and his action? And again, I, I think that it came out uh, too late. Well, it did take him days to come out of the shell. Now, are you saying he did what he should have done then? Yes, uh, because of the, the backlash, because of the, the, the impact on the economy and the society, I, I think he should have anticipated that uh, uh, to ameliorate the the situation, he should have come out uh, uh, earlier than that. Now, uh, making an apology hours before the impeachment uh, proceeding makes people wonder whether he is sincere about the apology or is he doing that uh, just to save his neck? Well, despite the apology, the impeachment motion vote this afternoon will proceed as planned. Uh, the question is, what about investigations against him? Well, they will be ongoing, right? Right. Uh, the political question uh, is quite different from the legal uh, situation that he's uh, facing. So uh, the investigation by the prosecutor's office, uh, police, and the CIO uh, will all take place. The CIO, of course, is the, uh, of the investigation office of uh, high-ranking uh, officials. Uh, and they will have to uh, investigate because he is under the charge of constitutional impropriety under Constitution and the Martial Law Act, and also he is charged with the the insurrection, mm -hmm. which is under criminal uh, act in Korea. So the investigation uh, have to uh, 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 go forward. Although the the question is whether. All three will be investigating, or will there be some consolidation of the investigative powers? Professor Song, as you know, President Yoon is the third leader already to face impeachment proceedings at the National Assembly. But uh, what makes this case any different from the ones against former presidents Park Geun-hye and also Do Mu Hyun? Well, President Park, Park Geun-hye was uh, charged with the, the corruption case and also abuse of power. Uh, back then, because of the, the political, uh, the atmosphere, uh, even after the, the, the Seoul, uh, the very uh, disaster, right. uh, I think there was a public out, outcry. Mm. And we, we experienced the, the prolonged period of uh, citizens uh, making progress protest at the time. So I, I think the political situation was quite different. Uh, Ro Mu-hyun is another case where he, his uh, misbehavior in the election, uh, the contribution, mm -hmm. uh, that was a little bit minor, but at the time, technically, it, it was a, a subject of lawful uh, investigation of the impeachment. Um, Yes, go ahead. You mentioned the term insurrection earlier. Now, could you compare the insurrection charges against former President uh, Chun Doo-hwan and also No Tae-ho? How is President Yoon's case any different from the ones that we saw you know, in the past? Well, quite different. <clears throat> uh, pre uh, former President Chun Doo-hwan and Ro Mu-hyun, uh, uh, it was a full-blown military insurrection 
uh, aiming to overthrow the government and seize the government, which they did. And also it led to the Gwangju massacre, mm. uh, significant uh, suppression and abuse of the fundamental rights of people. And uh, the casualties were significant. Um, they compared to that, the, 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 this president's uh, antic the other day was relatively short. Um, it was aiming to maneuver the political uh, atmosphere uh, according to to the president, but of course the investigation is ongoing because it did have some element of disrupting uh, quite unlawfully, uh, unconstitutionally, uh, limiting the, the powers of the National Assembly. So I think there are similarities in that they, they, they were all trying to usurp the government and uh, unconstitutional acts. But in terms of uh, the consequences, casualties, durations, uh, they are uh, quite different. So I, I, I think that the, they will go to the decision of the, the constitutional court if it goes to the constitutional court, whether those two uh, could be um, treated similarly. Well, we'll have to get back to you, Professor Song, in the very near future. Thank you so much for connecting with us. As always, we appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.